Hi everyone, Morris Palter back with you. How are you all doing? I hope you're staying safe and social distancing and still able to get some practicing done under these bizarre circumstances that we find ourselves in these days. Um, continuing on with some brush uh, based centric <laughs> videos, I thought I might showcase some Latin jazz uh, brush patterns for you. Like all of us who practice and play an instrument, you know, I get my inspiration and ideas. I listen to things as a big, obviously, number one. Um, watching some things on YouTube or whatever kind of videos. And uh, taking lessons, reading things, method books. And so um, this first pattern I'm going to showcase is a really great one because it's just sort of based on the very traditional standard jazz brush pattern. That's the pattern I showcased in the very first video. And you can check that out if you want a more detailed explanation of it. But very uh, briefly, it sounds and looks something like this. A one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And it's really just based on quarter notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Um, the pattern, the Latin jazz version of sort of this pattern was what uh, John Riley taught me, famed drummer, wonderful guy. He was here at the University of Arizona in Tucson where I'm based and I'm the director of the percussion program there. He was here about a year ago, a year ago, March. Um, and he showed me this pattern in one of the lessons that I took with him. And so uh, first I'm just going to start with the sort of the vertical stickings of, of how this pattern lays in your hands and then I'll add sort of the horizontal swish uh, type brush pattern. So if I add my boss a kick drum on very slowly, this pattern lies here. Right, left, left, right, right, 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 left, right, right. And if I add the swishes, it looks like this. So um, the down stroke with the right hand is really just a, a tap stroke coming this way. The up stroke is definitely a slide, a swish stroke, a brush stroke. And I put a bit of weight on that. And then with the left hand, it's definitely a brush stroke with a bit of weight on it. So again, to play it, uh, so you can check it out. That right, right. So that's how that pattern goes. And then um, I developed a variation on that pattern. The one thing that I found sort of difficult sometimes for me, uh, with my limited skills, I guess, to reconcile is that right out of the gate, there's two right hands. And so what that means is if you end a fill, let's say on a cymbal, you have to immediately get back to play that upstroke. Da, 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 da. Depending on the tempo, I'd either have to leave that upstroke out, like one, two, three, four, um, or find some sort of way to reconcile this. And so the way that I found to reconcile this was um, just to change where, I'm not changing the rhythm of the pattern, I'm not changing um, the, the pattern itself so much, I'm just sort of changing where I'm placing it in the beat. So the original one that John taught me again, you have left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right. And what I changed it to was I put the right hand with both the kick drums and the left hand after that. So you have uh, 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 right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. Right, right, original one that I was taught is left, right, right, 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 left, right, right. And then the variation that I play on that, right, left, left, right, right, 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 left.
find that that just works easier for me, certainly at up-tempo Latin jazz um, tunes. All right, I hope you like this video. Practice those two different variations on that same pattern. And uh, come on back for the next one in which I will give you a couple of more, um, maybe more advanced Latin jazz brush patterns that, uh, that you can use. All right, till then, stay safe. And uh, if you like this video, please click like. If you like the channel, please subscribe. See you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.